I teach at Chesning High School and I teach chemistry and calculus. I feel that the teachers and in my school um, are promoting a culture of learning and then it's through the teachers that the kids learn that it's a culture of learning. I feel that it's really a top-down situation and that you need all of your leadership needs to be focused on learning so that your teachers are focused on learning and then your kids are in turn focused on I feel that my teaching has changed and that I'm just more aware of focusing on trying to um, understand the students reasoning rather than just making sure that they get to the answer so um, I'm more aware of it and so then I can direct my questions more appropriately and that has changed in my room. Um, what I'd like you to do next, most of you are done, a few of you are still working, find someone in the room who has not seen your CSI yet and exchange ideas. And they're kind of, like, Ray's kind of boring. Yeah, yeah, I think I thought the routine went very well, the CSI. It was their second time doing this activity, but the first time I only had half the class here because of a field trip, and so um, today I got to see everyone's thoughts through it. And, um, had good explanations. I mean, you get a wide variety, but the ones that I've looked at so far and that were shared with the class were good connections to the actual uh, chemistry concept. It's a pretty broad concept, and so, but it has many details, and so I've focused kind of on the details up to this point, and so I wanted to go back to the broad concept and see what they thought about the broad, broad concept and know about stoichiometry. We'll start with volunteers that would like to share part or all of their own CSI. Um, brown because you use moles and you know moles are brown, even like different moles. Okay. <laughs> Good. Blue, red, and yellow. And they said they chose these three colors because they are the three primary colors and stoichiometry is a primary building block of chemistry. Um, the water cycle, <laughs> because like if it goes, it like, keeps on changing to different things. Okay, good. Oh, I'm sure it's through a plane, because like, plane, like plane taking off, so, like when they take off, it goes from one place to another, and like they like to take different paths to get there. Good, yeah. Okay. Um, this unidentified person shared <laughs> a box of chocolates because you never know what you're going to get, like equation-wise, and then you drew a chalkboard because when I think of stoichiometry, I see equations being written out on the board. Good. So, yeah. yeah. I ask for explanations more, I've, and I notice that I'm doing it. I feel like I probably did it before, but it wasn't a conscious thing that I was doing. But now, I consciously ask, well, why do you think that? Or explain to me why. Or instead of asking the answer, asking, well, why does that happen? Um, and so I feel that that has been the biggest change, is that I'm just more aware of asking for explanations, of asking for thinking, um, rather than just asking for answers.